So now let's see how we can connect the zeros of a cubic polynomial with the coefficients respectively. As similarly as we have seen for the quadratic polynomial, we are going now going to see the cubic polynomial connected with zeros and its coefficients. So let me take an example problem and just investigate on how the sum of zeros are connected with its respective coefficients and how the product of zeros are connected equally with the coefficients. Cubic polynomial zeros connected with coefficients is what we're going to see now in this session. So let me take an example cubic polynomial and investigate its roots and see the outcome. So my cubic polynomial, an example of is 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 14x plus 8 is the cubic polynomial I have considered. Now, the coefficients of this cubic polynomial are 2, minus 5, minus 14, and 8. So, with these coefficients, let's see what are the roots. Now, clearly, when I simplify the roots, I get that the roots are zeros of p of x, in this case, are 4, negative 2, and 1 over 2. These roots can be obtained by graphing and identifying the x-intercepts, or doing it by the synthetic division method of finding the factors of cubic polynomials. So once I get the three roots, because the degree is three, at the most three roots, these zeros, let's see if how they are connected with coefficients by finding the sum of zeros. Now sum of zeros here is the sum of four, negative two, and one over two, which gives me Phi over 2. So I get phi by 2 in case of this. But clearly, I identify that this phi is associated with this coefficient where I get this to be minus of minus phi over 2, that is minus of minus phi, which is coefficient of x squared by 2, which is coefficient of x cube, is how I understand the sum of zeros. So sum of zeros in case of this is minus coefficient of x squared by coefficient of x cube. Is the formula I have obtained for the sum of zeros. Similarly, let's see how we can connect the product of zeros with the respective coefficients of the given cubic polynomial. So when I take the product of zeros, each of the zeros is 4 minus 2 and 1 by 2, which are multiplied respectively. This gets cancelled and I get negative 4. I think we shouldn't be cancelling this. And without cancellation, this would be minus 8 over 2. Cancellation will not lead to the conjecture. So let's not cancel. But 4 times of minus 2 is minus 8 over 2 is how we take this. Now minus 8 is clearly the negative of constant, which I get here to be negative of constant term, which is 8, and 2 which is coefficient of x cube, which is product of zeros, which is obtained to be negative times constant term by coefficient of x cube. So this is how we relate <coughs> the sum of zeros given by this formula and the product of zeros given by this formula is how we understand the cubic polynomials connected with its respective coefficients.